Hello Taurus, this is your yearly forecast. Sorry I'm late guys, I'm going to pull um, a card as a significator for the entire year, what is influencing the entire year, okay? Let's see. Put that in the middle. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. <clears throat> and this is a general, so of course it's not going to resonate with everyone. But if you guys are interested in a personal, then you are more than welcome to contact me. That information is down below. I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card to go along with your significator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to give each month two cards, okay? Here we go. I'm going to do one for January. I'm going to shuffle a little bit in between them. This is February. I wish I could spread them out, but um, I want them all to be in the camera, so... Let's see. This is March, April, May, Taurus, June, July, August, September, October, and I'm just shuffling just so you know, I can try to get the energy for each month um, as strong as it will come through. Okay. November and December. Okay. And then we're going to get a second card. Let's see. That's a clarifier. Shuffle these a little bit initially. January, February, there's so little, I have, a, <laughs> I have to try to um, hold on to them, March, April, oh, okay, we'll take those for May. June, July, August, September, October, November, In December. All right. So, one more layer. This is just going to give you some some depth. These are um, tea leaf. Okay. That's January. Okay, that flipped over. I don't want them to flip over. February. Hmm. But if they flip, I definitely will take them. March, okay, <laughs> April, a lot of them are flipping over here, you move some of this stuff out of the way, a lot to say for Taurus this year, which one am I working on, let's see, May, and it's a lot of them, so it's, it's hard to like handle them like that. June, July, Ooh. August, hmm. September, October, November. 
in December. All right, guys. So we got a lot of cards out here, and of course, I'm gonna go over them and hold them up so you guys can see them. Okay. So let's see what the significator is for the year. Ascension. This is the world in the traditional tarot. So a lot of you guys have made a completion. Okay. You have accomplished something um, in your life at this point and you are moving on to something else. Something it could be revisiting something or it could be something totally different but there is something that you have completed in your life um, that is has been a major influence um, and I feel like because this is a culmination of all the other um, major arcana card this is the world so this is a, the last one so you've been through every single one of those cards to get to this point at some point okay so there is an accomplishment like I said um, and you guys are going into an entirely new cycle here alright and then we have coupling that hmm it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all okay so really and truly what this is telling me is that a lot of you guys have indeed um, you know broken up from someone, divorced from someone, um, and that whatever it was, whatever issues that you guys went through during that time of um, separation and other things in your life, like there's been a culmination. Um, things are laid to rest. Whether they were resolved or not, um, that part of your life has ended so something new is trying to come in and push you to receive things that um, that you deserve to, to receive in your life okay if you've been holding on to past issues um, past traumas then you know it's time to let that go it really is. It's time to open up is what I'm feeling. A lot of you have been holding on to your feelings, you know, not wanting to be hurt, not wanting to open up to people. So that is significant for this year. So keep that in mind, okay? So let's go on to um, January. Let's see what's going on. I know we're currently in January. I'm late getting this out. But the Six of Pentacles here. So, what this tells me is that I feel as though you are trying to get to a point where you can have this balance as far as your mundane way of living. And this is a Taurus card here, the Six of Pentacles. Um, trying to, like, you know, be the person that not only is a giver and you know but you want to be like an equal taker as well you want an equal exchange um, in your life in general you don't want to feel like you're being taken advantage of and you don't want to take advantage of people is what I'm getting from this card maybe in um, you know before now there was not an equal exchange in your relationships and sometimes you felt like you were being taken advantage of and sometimes you may have been the one that was actually taken too much but I feel like now you're coming to a point where you realize the importance of um, actually working with someone here okay let's see what that clarifier is we have the six of cups this is you wanting to, I feel, because this is all about balance and harmony here with these sixes, okay? Um, and the Six of Cups, of course, is a soulmate relationship. This is a loving relationship where you feel like possibly you and someone else belong together, okay? Maybe there was not an equal give, an equal exchange in this relationship prior to now. Maybe you want to revisit that relationship here in January and make things um, make things right, balance them out 
be harmonious with someone that you have this very strong connection with here in the Six of Cups. Somebody you possibly have known for a very, very long time that I feel like you have a lot of respect for here. They probably were somebody that was very, very giving. Um, or you. You know, this could be you as well. Okay? So let's see what tea, tea leaf card we have to go with that. Yeah. We have the camel. And it says, persevere and you will overcome problems. Okay? And really and truly what that says is exactly what the Six of Pentacles is saying. Okay? When you... Okay, if you know that... In a relationship, it takes, you know, both of you contributing, not one of you, you know, basically being in a relationship by yourself, but it takes both of you to really put in the effort to make something work. Now, if that has not happened before, um, this is telling me that you guys can overcome this, but it is going to take some effort. If you were actually the one, especially um, if if you were the one that was on the side of um, more of a taker, um, so but this can be overcome here. You can have this six of cups again with this individual if you guys have already not already started working on this, but hard work is what it's going to take. To overcome any issues that you guys have, okay? That is for January. Alright, so for February, we have the Three of Cups here. Hmm. You know, this is strong. Like, this is strong for me that Taurus is wanting to reunite. Re they want to reunite. A lot of you Tauruses want to reunite here. It looks like a water sign. And they don't have to be a water sign. They could have water in their chart, you know, some other placement in their chart. But the Three of Cups is half of the Six of Cups. You want the other half of the Six of Cups here. Because each of you makes three. Okay? Each of you makes three. But this is, I feel like you wanting to reunite. I put that in the wrong slide, sorry. Each of you, you're wanting to reunite, I feel, with who you feel like is possibly the love of your life here in January. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. This is, this is the star. I feel like this person is truly who you feel like is the love of your life. This is the person you feel like you're destined, you're supposed to be with. This is what I feel. It's Aquarius energy, this star. Again, you know, I'll, I'll call out the signs, but it does not have to be um, those signs. This is just the energy that's present in your reading, okay? And this is Cancer energy. This is Scorpio, the Six of Cups, okay? So somebody that I feel like is very emotional, somebody that's very loving, very giving, okay? Um, I feel like this person probably is very spiritual as well, whoever it is that um, you are separated from right now. But this is you want to reunite because you feel like you and this individual are destined to be together. Or somebody, this, of course, you know, this can go vice versa as well. This could be somebody thinking this about you. So keep that in mind as well, okay? Let's see what tea leaf cards you have. <clears throat> hmm. We have the seahorse family matters. So maybe there's something um, within each of your respective families that's kind of um, a hindrance for you guys. Um, maybe there are children Im involved. Maybe you guys have, with the seahorse, is, is very unique. So maybe you guys have, um, like, you you're in an extended family sort of sort of deal where you know both of you have children but you don't have children together or something like that maybe children are a factor in this um, because there's something 
there's something going on here within the family. Maybe one of you is, you know, really trying to get your um, family issues together. Maybe one of you is more focused on if you have children and you're a single parent, more focused on the children right now. But there's something within the family that is um, influencing whether or not you guys will reunite here. Okay. Let's see what March has for us here. Hmm. I feel like um, hmm. I feel like you're being guided. I feel like you're being guided to this person most definitely. I think that um, you're definitely attracted to this person. You definitely want to have a new beginning with this person for sure. If you guys do not, you know, have not already started up or started a conversation here, this is definite, definite, um, you know, instinctual wanting to be together with this person, wanting to start over again, um, start something new. And here again, we have the world ending of a cycle and starting something new, okay? And it is safe for you to love. This is the influencer for the year. Keep that in mind too. So your reading is strictly about, I feel like, reuniting with who you feel is the love of your life. It's what's what I'm feeling here. Hmm. But you're conflicted over how to do this. Somebody's very um, bothered by bothered by not by the connection but how to approach the connection how to approach someone um, I, I, I get the sense that <clears throat> there's somebody here whether it's you or whether it's the person that you're thinking about is thinking that maybe you have started with someone else or the person that you're thinking about or you're thinking they have started with someone else because there is a bothersome energy here about a new start okay and this new start could possibly be with someone else other than the person that you're thinking about and I think that is what's really getting you or them and um, causing like this interference. <clears throat> but I get the sense that regardless if you think that this person is dating, that um, that doesn't mean that all is lost. Okay? Mm -mm. Doesn't mean that all is lost here. You still have, I feel like, an opportunity to make things right if that is what you want to do, okay? But you have to try because if you don't try, you won't know. Let's see. Wow, okay. So, in March, we have the bowl. Plenty of material things. Hmm. I feel like, you know, maybe a lot of you are really focused on your finances right now, trying not to address this, this connection, what you feel for this person here and here is like, you're trying not to think about it. You're trying to draw your focus on material things, um, money, job, vacations, partying, um, the act, just the acquisition of you know, very mundane things that, you know, don't really bring you happiness long term. They may bring you happiness like right now, but that's almost like a nine of cups kind of thing where you're doing things to try to, you know, get your mind off of what it is that you really want, I feel. Okay. Then we have Bo. Look at this. You are highly thought of. Hmm. So what this is telling me is that, Taurus, if you are feeling strongly that somebody is your soulmate, 
that you want to reunite with them that you are um, you know conflicted over the fact that they may be involved with somebody what this is telling me is that somebody reciprocates your feelings <clears throat> okay somebody feels the same way that you do even though you guys may not be maybe apart you may not even be speaking may not have spoken in months or or years or whatever but the feelings are shared between the two of you here the feelings mutual Let me move that in camera the feeling is mutual okay and let's see what's going on for April the king of wines huh now the king of wands is looking right at it is safe for you to love so either there is a fire sign individual that um, is feeling the same way about you as you them hang on guys my phone is ringing I'm sorry either there's a fire sign individual that's feeling the same way about you as you them <clears throat> or this is you um, just kind of you know looking at this situation and wanting to travel to this person wanting to you know make an offer to this person like you're not on you you're not on this overactive um, pace but I feel like when you think about this person it brings a level of excitement in into you and um, I think you really want to or them you like I said want to offer um, something here a loving offer you're excited about this person attracted to this person feel like you know this is the one Hmm. Then we have the Three of Swords coupling that. Yeah, there are some very hurt feelings between the two of you, I feel. I feel like this is a shared energy. I feel like maybe both of you have stuck one of these swords into this, this heart. But then there is not really the truth but the truth like the mediator what is really going on the reality I'll say that you know each one of you feels is hurt but then there is the reality of the situation okay so I feel like this is a shared energy here in this spread both of you have probably set things out of very you know fiery nature fiery spirit and um, or done things that have hurt each other here And just really try not to think about things. We have the hammock coupling that, um, or you know, accompanying that. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. Hmm. I feel like this is saying that. You know, I think focusing on whatever it was that hurt you here. It is time to let that go here because it says taking a vacation physically or mentally that means you know it's time to get away from those thoughts it's time to leave that behind so you can move forward okay that's in April let's see what's going on in May hmm we have the four of cups I just feel like if you don't you know like put some of this hurt aside do not let this do not let this cancel out all of these feelings that you know you have for someone do not ignore the call this is judgment here and judgment says it's time to take a look at yourself time to take a look in the mirror um, make sure that what it is that you are deciding to do that you are comfortable with your decision because it does have long-term consequences okay we also have the seven of swords that fell out with that this is somebody not using their heart not using their their feelings they're trying to think about things from a, um, an intellectual standpoint 
and this is not going to serve you if this is you okay because I feel like this is like trying to escape from this cup from this love that you know you feel in your heart this is an escape okay but be careful that if you do that it's going to have long-term consequences here okay Reconciliation is what we have. Hmm. So, hmm. You know, maybe this is the other individual that you're dealing with. This water energy. Maybe you approach them with an offer of reconciliation here in May and they refuse it. That is the decision that's made. Or you refuse them. But someone ends up walking away um, and not just feel like that's what's best for them. Okay. Hmm. I feel like you guys make amends here though. Even if you don't like get together as a couple, there is like you're making amends. And then someone's left thinking about this situation. Someone's left um just trying to figure out you know what it is that they do next here mm. now we have secret admirer someone admiring you from afar or you are admiring someone else from afar You know, I'm going to go back to May because you now I'm getting the impression that that you actually, or one of you, tries to make amends here. Somebody's playing kind of hard to get here. And they try to walk away. They try to walk away. And that is what, you know, they really feel like they want to do because of the issues that have happened in the past. But at some point, I feel like someone actually decides here that they do want to reconcile. This is really not a good energy, though. I don't like that Seven of Swords. Hmm. And then maybe in June, while you are still kind of contemplating the situation, huh? There's someone else that is looking at you. The Seven of Pentacles looking right at the secret admirer here. Hmm. Gotta take this sweater off. I'm hot, guys. Hang on one second. Let's see what we've got for July. We have a King of Cups. There's a lot. Only kings here. Hmm. Very stable, emotionally stable individual here. Looking right at the King of Swords. Maybe that's a secret admirer. Yeah. Somebody wants to offer uh, to go on a date to to somebody wants a long term commitment here. I feel somebody wants to work with you. Could be same sex. Does not have to be. But I feel like yeah, you need to defend yourself. Be careful. 
be careful of someone coming in that admires you because you know sevens are like individual cars like um, it's like someone like the seven of swords it's is it's like a self reward um, only think about yourself so this is like a single card where somebody's really thinking about um, you know how can they advance what is good for them they don't really think about like you know the other person so I feel like there's going to be an offer that comes in around July and there is a need for you to use your discernment here Okay, and it could very well be this individual that left before coming back in wanting to reconcile with you I just don't feel like by the time um, June comes I think they're more watching from like afar or you're watching from afar but um, someone actually does come in I feel like in July and they are wanting to you know offer something significant um, but it's like where they're coming from with this offer why they're coming with this offer is it self-serving okay hmm in August I feel like you know it's gonna put you guys in a defensive mode um, and I think that um, you know you just leery and, and and I see here that you probably should with with um, the shield you're leery because you've already been through I feel like you know some crap with someone and um, or either this is somebody feeling this way towards you because like I again like I said I feel like you know mostly this is you wanting to reunite with someone so maybe it was you that actually you know dipped out before and wanting to come back and here is this water sign individual right here okay you may have you know like um, Gemini or you know fire in your chart as well or this individual does but I feel like somebody somebody's gonna be very defensive here because they're kind of paranoid about things that have happened in the past they've been hurt and then we have the seven of wands another defensive card like you know they're they're not that willing to jump back into um, a situation because they've been hurt before we have vulture depression anxiety worry that someone is against you I can't make this up guys this person whoever this is is not going to be that trusting okay they're just not um, because they've been hurt before so I feel like if you approach this individual it's going to it's really going to take some time for you guys to get to um, a point where you can actually trust each other here like in the six of Pentacles <clears throat> But I feel like it is safe for you to approach this individual right now. Um, sometimes you can approach too early because you know people haven't had a time the time to heal. But then once the healing has has happened, um, you know you allow for someone to actually really move on. And so once they really do move on, quite and possibly with somebody else then it is hard to get back that loving feeling you know because you they're involved with somebody else and a lot of times people don't just jump from one person to the next not if they are an adult and um, are serious just about being happy in their life and not really doing people wrong and that sort of thing okay okay so in September we have Oh, somebody's very unsure um, you know they they're guard at here hmm unsure about whether or not they know how they feel for sure this is Gemini energy they know how they feel about 
this individual. They know how they feel about themselves as well. And I feel like this is more so them deciding between, you know, whether or not I should give somebody a chance to hurt me again or whether I choose myself. That's what I feel like this is. Okay. And this is good advice from a wise person. I feel like, you know, in this instance, um, maybe there is a need for either you or the person that you are dealing with to actually talk to um, someone or either look to your inner wisdom, your intuition to know, you know, what it is that you need to do. Okay. And let's see what we have for October. We have a Queen of Swords now. This is somebody that is very defensive. Um, but the Queen, you know, she speaks the truth. She does not take any bullshit, though. You know, she'll say what she needs to say. And if you come with that tomfoolery, then she will cut that shit out. You know, um, this is somebody that is guarded as well. Hmm. Yeah, this is somebody that's trying to make things right. I feel like, um, I get the feeling that this person probably was someone that took a lot of bullshit in the past. They didn't speak when or say things that they felt like, you know, could possibly make the relationship rocky. They held back a lot, but now they are not that person anymore. I don't feel like this person is hurtful though. I just feel like she's not going to let you step on her toes, whether male or female. That's just not going to happen. Okay. Now, this this energy, there's only one queen here, but there's three kings. But I only feel like there's there's possibly there's possibly two individuals here. Possibly. Hmm. Let's see. What's going with October? We have pale. Time to get out of a situation. And that really coincides with the king the Queen of Swords and Justice is deciding, to, you know, what is right and what is wrong and acting accordingly. You know, if something is right for you, then, you know, you proceed with it. But if it's wrong for you, you cut that ish out. And that's just the bottom line. Okay. So in November, we have the lovers repeating here. Huh. You have the lovers here in September. And then we come to November with the lovers. Let's see what the other card is. The moon. I feel like this is somebody needing to to follow their intuition. Um, because there's actually something here that's not clear. And it's a hindrance on making this decision here, is what I'm feeling. Somebody here has very strong feelings for another individual. But they're just not sure. They're not sure about this person. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with is really is is really going to be struggling um, towards the end of the year because it's it's apparent that you guys have this like undeniable connection that's apparent, but they're really going to be struggling with deciding on if this is a good idea to reconcile this situation here. So I feel like not only is this for you, Taurus, this is also for the individual that you are thinking about here because, again, both of you 
share this three of swords here. Each one of you has a stake in this situation. And then there is the reality of the situation. Okay? And there's a need to vacate from these thoughts. And I think that's, you know, for both parties here. In order for this reconciliation to happen, there's a need to vacate from those thoughts, okay? Coupling, I mean, accompanying that, um, the lovers and the moon here, we have dolphin, financial gain, up usually coming from something you did in the past. Huh. You know, and when I see this, I'm looking at this Six of Pentacles here because this, this card here is actually sharing and giving and, um, you know, just helping other people. And then we have, you know, this Ace of Wands over here, which is a new start, could have been a new start in a business as well with plenty of material things. Then we come down here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is looking at things that you have, have started or have invested in and waiting to see that profit where, where I can't even talk because I'm excited because now I see that um, something is coming. A financial gain is coming from something that you did in the past here. And I think this starts at the beginning of the year in January with something that you have um, you know, devoted your time to, your energy to, and by November, this is paying off, okay? Let's see what's going on in December. Can you pick that card up? You're going to be happy. I feel like you're going to be enlightened about a situation. You're going to receive the clarity that you were looking for here or the other individual. Um, but there is going to be clarity, there's going to be self-awareness, um, there's going to be, I feel like, happiness coming in December. As a culmination of all of this that you have gone through, this is how you close the year out. Being happy. Let's see. Yeah. Some of you are actually getting married. If not getting married, you are, um, you know, just going to be involved in a very committed relationship I feel like I feel like this is going to be something that is um, that is shared between the two of of you I feel like most definitely most definitely huh I like it look at this Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Somebody's very spiritual here, like I said before. And I felt that. Like somebody here, either you or the other person, is being protected. There's something very spiritual here with this person, the star. We have the moon, the star, and the sun in this spread. Okay? Um, we have we have judgment here. We have justice here. We have the hierophant here. Um, I feel like this also is a divinely, and I hardly use that term, but I feel like this is a divinely um, protected connection as well. I feel like everything's going to happen for you in divine timing here. If it is in your fight, I feel like everything is going to like progress for you this year, Taurus. Um, you guys are really going towards some good stuff. I feel like you know you're. You, it's going to be a struggle here in the middle of the year, but as you transition, and I'll say between, let's see, what is this? April, May, June. Um, there is going to be like this shift. There's going to be, be this shift in your life and it's going to be like, you know, a little, it's going to be struggling, uh, a struggle for you because um, I think you are, this energy that you're filling up in here will culminate and you're going to feel like you need to act. 
and I feel like you will act here towards the middle of the year okay it's gonna leave someone else feeling like confused because it's it's probably gonna be like why now and so they're gonna need some time to adjust to all the happenings here but I see towards like the end of the year closing out the year um, you guys are gonna be I feel like fantastic okay so my Taurus friends that is what I have for you for your yearly forecast and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon bye now